This court has ruled California's longtime ban on assault weapons will remain in place. This is the first ruling since the United States Supreme Court reduced the government's authority to regulate firearms. KTV South Bay reporter LaMonica Peters live tonight in Santa Clara with more on the story. LaMonica. Last year, the Supreme Court ruled that states can't take away a person's right to, to carry a concealed weapon. And now a California court says that Supreme Court ruling will not overrule our state's ban on assault weapons. But the big question remaining was, does that apply to every kind of firearm or weapon? And the California court has said, no, it doesn't. Our AR-15 ban still stands. The 3rd District Court of Appeal ruled Friday that high-capacity rifles like the AR-15 cannot be sold or possessed in the state of California. The ruling upheld the conviction of Alex Bocanegra from San Jose, who was charged with attempted murder when he used an assault rifle to shoot at a former friend. And you will see cases spring up all over the United States on issues that still limit the absolute right to possess a firearm under any circumstances and any type of weapon like you see here with the AR-15. At Reed's Indoor Range in Santa Clara, we talked to gun owner Mohammed Jamal, who believes he should be able to own any firearm he needs to protect himself, especially since his business has become a target for thieves. For protection, for self-protection, and I would say this is couldn't have been a better time uh, just on the first of this month, uh, so I own a shop in San Lorenzo, and I was uh, robbed or attempted robbery when a bunch of guys, you know, drove their car into my shop, and they came out with guns, you know. Jamal says he now owns four firearms and practices shooting at Reed's. On Monday, the Firearms Policy Coalition also filed a lawsuit aiming to eliminate the 10-day waiting period when legally buying a firearm in California. Issues like the 10 day waiting period, issues like registration of firearms and regulating certain types of firearms are still going to need to be resolved in the court system. And I think you'll see this make its way back to the United States Supreme Court. We reached out to the Firearms Policy Coalition for comment, but they didn't respond in time for this report. LaMonica Peters, KTVU, Fox 2 News.